So uh, here we go again. We, we will talk about uh, text categorization and we will use AI, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Apache Lucene. Uh, so actually I don't have slides for this. We will uh, move to the demo. Uh, and I also will browse some websites uh, that are uh, needed for, for what I want to explain and for, for credits. Uh, so the objective here is to take some random text uh, text and to categorize it. <clears throat> and we will use Apache Lucene for this. We will not even use linear regression, no AI, just pure Apache Lucene. Just to give some credits, uh, this talk was first presented by my colleagues at a meetup that we held uh, here in Paris. Uh, and it was in French and on Solar. Uh, this one is in English and on Elasticsearch. But just to say that it's actually a Apache Lucene that does the job. So you can do it with the, uh, Solar or Elasticsearch. All, all of those work. Still credits for this really great data set, which contains uh, 2,225 documents from the BBC News website in 2004 and 2005. And they are categorized, manually categorized in these categories. Uh, this data set is actually used in some scientific publications. <clears throat> And we will use it uh, uh, to, we will index it in with Lucene and we will use it for text categorization. So here it is. We have the 2,224 documents. There's one missing, I don't know why, but it, it, it will still work. And uh, here's the definition of the index that we created with this. Pretty straightforward, I mean, nothing fancy. You have the category, which is a keyword and you have the text. Uh, and here's the tricky part. This one does the magic. Uh, so we will talk about this later, but just keep in mind this line. Okay, so again, some verifications here. We have the number of documents all there. Uh, we also have them grouped by categories, the five categories that we mentioned. So yeah, they are kind of van equally ventilated through the categories. And here's how a document look. You have the category and then the text, which is the BBC article from, for, from 2004, 2005. Now, how we will categorize text? We'll actually use a query like this, which is the more like this query. And here we will, uh, uh, here we will plug the text that we, to, we want to categorize. And we will also do an aggregation so of course it's uh, it's uh, sorted by the score, but we also will do an aggregation that uh, will display the most likely categories. They are, they are ordered by a pipeline aggregation on average score. Okay, so this is another trick that does the magic. So nothing fancy, but yeah, this this is uh, useful for the next. So here we go. Let's take a. Uh, an article, a random article from, from the Berlin Buzzwords website. So actually this one is my colleague that shares a success story. So thank you Berlin Buzzwords for promoting diversity. So we just copied and pasted this article into the, um, the placeholder here. And here we go, let's see how it goes. So we see that we have some category tech, some category tech again, some politics here. Yeah, you might understand. So it's actually Berlin Buzzword, so it, it, talk, it talks about tech, but you also have politics because of the feminism and all that. So uh, in the aggregations, we have tech on the first position, and then we have some sport entertainment. I don't know why, but yeah, it's an article about tech, definitely. Okay, this is great. Let's go further. I took another article. So I don't think all these articles are kind of fresh. So the, the other one is from... Uh, Reuters and it was yesterday we were talking about jet subsidy pact and so about China. So I imagine this would be something like business and politics. Let's see how the software works. Yeah, we have business here. We have business again, business, politics and politics. And on the aggregations, we have business and next we have politics. So it's an article about business. Pretty, pretty neat. 
some other examples here. This one is from sports. Uh, yeah, you imagine that. So this is from France, Bank, uh, France 24, and it talks about the Euro 20. No suspense. I think it will be categorized as sports. So here it is, sports, 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 and aggregations. The sport come first. It's also some, something about tech and entertainment. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, we also took some other examples. I will go faster through those. This is one taken from Washington Post, just to be like ha have diverse sources. So this one is is from the actually from the books sections, uh, which is under arts and entertainment. We took an article from there. Let's see how it goes. Test another category. So it's entertainment. So yeah, it works pretty well just pure Apache Lucene. So how does it work, actually? Um, so, um, well, it uses something that's called um, term vectors. And before we go into that, we just need to know what happens with a document that's indexed into a Lucene uh, index. So sorry for this, is, this, is, this one is in French. It's taken from, from a blog that's on the Elasticsearch website. Uh, so. Um, the documents that we send to, to Apache Lucene are actually transformed and they get into the index in some different manner. In this case, we have an agent gram transformation, but we also have the term vectors in here. So the index will contain something that's called term vectors that you can see here. So here is, for example, a document that I have in the index. And these are the term vectors. So this is the word. Okay, so you have plenty of words here. Uh, yeah, let's take something more meaningful. So a lot of words again, yeah, like add, adjust, and also the properties that they have here, these are the term vector, term vectors. And when you come with a text, this one is a text, will actually, it will get translated into the same structure. So you have the words here, so this is, a text coming from Berlin buzzwords. And it is also translated into this vector space model. So the term vectors exist in Elasticsearch. As I said, it's actually Lucene that, that, that does the trick. So it also it's also available in, uh, in Solar, uh, just to give credit for that. Uh, and it kind of looks like this. And I actually have a slide that I will show now. And uh, I would also like to thank my colleague, uh, Vince, Van, Vincent Bosque for this. Um, so he thought it will be more, um, you will understand better with this slide. So actually the vector space uh, here is very simple. It is very simplified. It's just two dimension, but actually it has a lot of dimensions. And you have the words here. And then you have the documents that are kind of spread into this vector space. And when you come with a new document, you see here the, the, the question mark, will actually the system will figure out which are the documents that are the closest to this one. And this is how it gets categorized, simply with this vector space model. Okay. Um, just to finish the, the presentation, uh, I would also like to thank uh, my other colleague, uh, Vince, Vincent Briand, that has also a talk uh, that we did at uh, the Elastic Communities Conference about the percolator, and it actually uses the same technique in a different context. So if you want to dig in further, you can go and see this, uh, this presentation. Still a lightning, lightning talk, it, it takes six minutes. And uh, what do we have here? Yeah, we also have a blog post on, about the, the, same, the same subject if we want to go further. And last but not least, just to show you that it's, there's no trick there, we are live uh, today. Let's see something because the articles that I've showed you date from yesterday. This one is really live because we have a football game that's going and this is the live reporting from BBC to give them credit again for the data set. And uh, yeah, uh, you have the score here. Uh, I think this is live, yeah. Okay, so it's it goes live. Let's take the summary here. Uh, I don't know why can I, yeah, okay. So I will just 
copy and paste the summary and hope for the best. I hope I don't have a, a, a demo effect here. Let's see what does this text talk about sports. Okay, so no demo effect. We have sports and some tech there. So this is it, pure Apache Lucene that use, uh, is used to categorize any random text that you throw at it. Just 2,200 documents from BBC, and that's it. Thank you, Lucian. I just had uh, one question for you. We're, we're a little short on time now, heading into our final lightning talk. But my one question would be, um, yeah, further to what Cedric said, like, what's a scenario where this should perhaps not be used, where term vectors are not best applied or where they're, they produce the, the least effective results? Um, yeah, so great question. Th th thank you for this for this question. Uh, of course, uh, there are some drawbacks and uh, there are some 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 things that are not working. Uh, I didn't show them because yeah, uh, with this example, it works pretty well. Um, when the text is really short, uh, it's kind of tricky to to figure out what it is. So you act, this is actually suited for like unstructured text uh, that are kind of articles coming from the media or, or word documents or, or stuff like that and uh, uh, yeah it's this is mostly suited for for rather large pieces of of, of, of text got it thank you